Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and I specialize in logic in my team, Team Horizon. Hello, I'm Derek and my job is to find small mistakes that may make a huge difference. And I'm Rilal, I specialize in building and coding. And, and we, we are, are team, team Horizon! Our team name came from a Roblox game Rivals and a sniper skin caught Event Horizon. We thought it was a good name because it resembles hope and the beauty in a horizon. We started late coding in late 2019. We have been working diligently ever since, work slowly getting towards our goal of top 10 in the Co-Space competition. We, this has been our first year in Co-Space and we've already hit many different kryptonites and rocket fuels. We are participating in the RCAP Co-Space Auto Driving 12 U12 category. In this presentation, we will use the secret garden as an illustration to explain how our group tackled the challenge and employed various strategies to achieve optimal performance. To ensure the best performance, we strategically focused on several key areas, selecting the shortest path, designing optimal wheel speeds for line tracking, and developing strategic strategies for color markers and obstacle avoidance. We also considered and implemented contingency plans to prevent potential problems that could cause the robot to go off track during the run in Secret Garden. Our robot is able to complete the run within 23 seconds. We will share these strategies with you in the following slides. Welcome to the Secret Garden Challenge. In this challenge, your mission is to make your robot car follow the black line, pass five checkpoints, and reach the finish point as fast as possible. It may look easy, but it's not just about following the line. You'll need to think smart, plan carefully, and use the right tricks to help your robot zoom to the finish line in the shortest time. Are you ready to show how clever your robot can be? Let's begin! Achieving smooth, steady, and fast line tracking is critical to success in this challenge. Although other strategies are certainly important, efficient line tracking alone will guarantee the robot a decent performance. There are several paths that the robot car can follow from start to end. We have listed all possible paths and noticed that path 3 is the shortest. Therefore, we programmed our robot to travel along path 3. To follow path 3, we need to follow, program the robot to turn 90 degrees right when it senses a yellow color and turn 90 degrees left when it senses purple color patches. If the robot performs these actions consistently upon detecting yellow and purple, the shortest path will be guaranteed. If the robot senses a wall in front and the floor beneath is white, it should turn right 90 degrees. If it senses a wall in front and the floor beneath it is dark, it should turn right 90 degrees. There are two pink markers and the robot must turn left 90 degrees at the first and turn right 90 degrees at the second. This sequence is critical part of the challenge logic. To ensure the robot executes the correct turn at each pink marker, we need to think strategically. State variables offer a great solution for implementing this logic correctly. We found that the robot is easily loses the line on zigzag sections, particularly on traveling at high speeds. Therefore, we programmed the robot to drive straight when it senses the blue color. This change enables the robot to skip the zigzag area, keeping the robot on its course and safe. Line tracking is the most essential function for the Co-Space Auto Driving U12 category. As we've highlighted it, achieving smooth, steady, and fast line tracking is critical to success in the competition. We'd like to share how our group designed our line tracking strategy, focusing on how on the robot's wheels speed settings. Our group's line tracking strategy is built upon a dynamic tiered response system that uses seven IR sensors to achieve maximum speed and stability. The goal is to maximize to forward momentum while applying precise proportional corrections. These slides show the flowchart of the line tracking set strategy. Grass, there are seven IR centers installed underneath the robot to detect the floor and to sense the black line. Each sensor consists of an IR emitter and an IR receiver. White floor. The light emitted by the sensor is reflected back to the receiver. This typically registers as low reading or a high analog value. Black line. The black surface absorbs the IR light, so little reflected back to the receiver. This typically 
registers as a high reading or a low analog value. We categorize the robot state into four primary zones based on which sensor cluster detects the black line. The resulting real speed adjustment is designed to be quick and effective, directly corresponding to the severity of the, the violation. Um, the most critical factor is the selection of baseline speed, which is the default speed when the robot is traveling perfectly straight. At this baseline speed, the robot must be fast and controllable. If the speed is too low, it will sacrifice crucial time, resulting in a low, slow ov overall run. If it is too fast, it may make the robot unstable. Once the baseline speed is set, the corrective speeds for all other sensor states L1, L2, L3, etc. can be calculated proportionally. In the future world, people could use our code to make cars fully autonomous. We could also learn that we, with a lot of perseverance and a lot of trial and error, a lot of things that may, be, may seem impossible may become something and reach and possible. AI yeah, tools use. All we use is our indifferent minds to find a good way to collaborate.